East Boston will be kicking off. And once again, they have the squib kick up to Boston English. There's Dowdy ripping it right back up the middle. Excuse me, that's number 27 for Boston English. Damone Marshall, who makes his way inside the 20 yard line with that return. So a great start to the second half for Boston English. Well, Marshall, only a sophomore. He's actually backup, one of the backup quarterbacks. He's also a wide receiver, 5'8", 150 pounds, but you see some speed on, on Marshall as he tries to get to that far sideline. Finally, he gets run down on the play by Joe Pastrana. English is set up in great shape. Bunt straight in the air, and then a short bounce as Madison does field it. Good return here from Madison wow. Park. Going the distance <laughs> for the player. Cardinals. That looks like number 80, Dayron Lawrence, who brings it back for a took, touchdown. I'll tell you, it took a big chance to <clears throat> corral that, but because you get the high bounce, I give him all the credit in the world because I tell you, I was able to snatch and win untouched with that speed of his. Get out for a score of the game. See, right, right here, it looks like he's, he's just going to let the ball bounce, but coverage for South Boston. Did not stay in their lanes. A lot of 69-yard punt return. Saw that hole from the high school player zipped right there, and then was able to have enough momentum for what? Watch him. He sees him zip right there, and then gets the goal line, and was able to, able to power his way in. That's an impressive run. Fourth down. Now, fourth down, Smith. To the right side, oh, wow. Aaron and out. He's pass. got a receiver for a touchdown. He was getting pressured. Irvin Axelholm. That is the ideal example of what you talk about. Just put it in the air and let your receiver run under it. He throws it up. And there's Axelholm. Calling her all the way. We say if they can't get over there. This game goes as it's, as, continues as it's going now. If you get a wide score, a lot of the underclassmen will get some playing time. Box snap there for Brighton, but Andrews picks it up, brings it in no, to the end zone wow. for the touchdown. Will and Jervis, he must have spun about four different times. Dexter Andrews with his second touchdown of the evening. He's broken play. Yeah, well, he just snapped it out of the air. And watch, watch the turn. One, there's one turn, the other second turn. This first half's flying by. Well, both teams are running. Both teams are running the, the entire time. First and goal from the 10 for the Bengals. A handoff to Andrew Dexter up the middle. Wow. <laughs> and he is just not going to go down. He tried to jump over the pile. <laughs> and he got in for the touchdown. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I didn't think he was able to get anywhere near the goal he line. airborne. But again, that 190 pounds of his is always going forward. Like, you got to like him how he's up here congratulating his, uh, his offensive lineman. See how he hit one airborne that kept the leg towing. That third effort. Oh, wow. he, he, he reached, reached the football out. Okay. He reached it out for the, for the, uh, the touchdown. Second down and five now for the Wolfpack. Freely looking down the right side of the field. Oh, He's got beautiful. Hansik. Beautiful throw for a touchdown. Nice stop and go route by Hansik also to allow Cat uh, freely to pump fake and then just lead, lead him out there to the end zone. Nice throw, right in the money. Right there. So the big fella, over 100 yards receiving, and now he's also got a touchdown. Carbis Epps. 
played running back sixth and seventh grade. Now in eighth grade, playing quarterback from the Thunder. Now on third down, it's Epps going to take it himself over the right side. Epps has got a hole down the right sideline. Carvisa Epps showing off the speed, still on his feet, breaking a tackle. He's going to go in for a touchdown. Carmise Epps. 52-yard touchdown run for Epps. And Murphy is on the board first. And Pat, that play was made by Antoine Oliver Fields. He sealed the outside at the line of scrimmage and allowed Epps to get through. See that block right there on your screen to the right. And from there, Epps just took off, breaking another tackle, and he was barely touched on his route to the end zone. Just under eight minutes. Oh, they fake the punt. Campbell over the right side looking for the first down. He's got it. Campbell down ball. the right sideline. Theo Campbell, he could take it in for a touchdown. The junior running back takes it in for the Dorchester Bears. What a change of events here for yeah, Dorchester. That's why you call timeouts, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, like I said, I, it would have been a I think a calculated risk to take from scrimmage. So you have Campbell in the short formation, and you just you watch him spread it out, just stretch out and use that speed to give Dorchester. Now a 10-point lead, a 69-yard fake punt. Brooks turn on the offensive side of the football. They have it at the 17-yard line. We'll see a lot of Brandon Newton. They hand it off to Newton on first down. Big goal for Brandon Newton. He had an 87-yard run last year against O'Brien. Is he going to match that this year? Just down did. to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Brandon, Brandan Brandan Newton. Newton. Yep. I'm just, I'm just saying we're going to see a lot of Brandon Newton. <laughs> just we see. just did on that one play. <laughs> Well, 87 yards last year, 83 yards this year. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, the linebacker came across too aggressively, ran right by Newton, and right here, open foot field. The safety's on the opposite side of the field, could not get there. Trying to chase him down, but too late. It was Teasdale. Surprised Newton's not getting a break after that. <laughs> 